Yo, yo, I'm Trick Chris, and this is not a normal video. It's not what I was planning to happen. So right now, I'm in Canada. I'm in Toronto. Um, I flew here last night, and when I flew here, I got stuck in immigration for about three hours, and they essentially ended up denying my entry to Canada, which is very sad, but I'm still here. I'm in Toronto, and essentially, the next flight back wasn't until the next day at 8 p.m., so they've let me leave the airport, but they've kept my passport. And I have today to see Canada and to do whatever I want to do. And then I've got to get a flight back at like 5 p.m. Well, I've got to get to the airport at 5 p.m. So it's a pretty dumb situation. I was planning on being out here for a week, like filming a bunch of content. Um, I was pretty excited. And now, <laughs> now I kind of just want to go home. But... Obviously, at the same time, I'm going to try and film as much as I can. So I'm going to go around Canada today and show you as much as I can, really, and just show you what I see. So let's go. They basically said the reason I got denied is because I didn't declare a time I'd been arrested. Um, but I didn't realize you had to declare a time you'd been arrested and not charged for something. Like, I figured you only really have to declare if you got charged for it, right? Um, so basically, they were like, look, there's not a flight until the next day. So... We'll take your passport and enjoy your day in Canada, and then I got to fly back. So I stayed at some dead Super 8 last night because it was the only place I could find that had a smoking room. And I turned up, and they're like, oh yeah, you're not allowed to smoke. Um, well, you're allowed to smoke, but only cigarettes. Like, what? What's the point? So first place we're going to straight away, cookies. Can't miss out on cookies while I'm here. very strange to be on the streets here after everything that just happened even for what little time i have i have to appreciate it like crazy but first stop of the day of course cookies let's have a little look at what they got i was looking to get some of the the georgia pie the gary payton and the london pancake Oh, comes in a nice little pot. That's pretty cool. Uh, so this one is the Georgia pie. Then... Oh, wait, no, this one's the Georgia pie. So what's this one? This one just says GP20. What did I ask for? Oh, this one's the Gary Payton. This one's the Georgia pie. And then this one is the London pound cake really nice in there kind of looks like the one in thailand to be honest um and it was like 114 canadian dollars for three three fives and 114 canadian dollars is like 70 quid nah cheaper than that like 60 quid so like 60 quid for three three fives from cookies that's fucking pretty decent like what is that <laughs> what's what do you reckon the best pre-roll is that you have because oh, um... I'm, I'm not a pre-roll fan but I've never been Canada before, and I want to try out a Canadian pre-roll. Okay, awesome. Uh, I mean, um, there's a lot of pre-rolls. We got like a lot of fucking pre-rolls. <laughs> I've just been into like three dispos out here, and the one thing that I've quickly realised is there's not really anywhere to smoke. So, um, coming into a park, chilling, and rolling up. I think that's the best way. You know what I did bring with me? My THC tester, but I didn't bring my main big camera with me. Um, mainly because I was a bit scared that they would think that I'm out here filming and doing all this stuff and then I would get denied but obviously that was the least of my worries uh, <laughs> um, but I've heard some quite wild percentage claims so far I'm about to get inside somewhere where I can actually chill inside so when I'm there I think I'm going to whip out the tester and test a bunch of them I can't record myself testing them but I can screenshot the results and as I talk about them I can show them on the screen also this dispo was really cool it was like a little gaff Definitely like one of them grey market ones, I think. And um, yeah, it was just like a little house. It was fucking sick. Guy was super lovely. Yeah, really, really nice. Yo, really quick, me from the future here. I forgot to film a segment where I just said the test results from the stuff that I tested. So I tested the London pound cake that claimed 26 and it came up 25. So pretty good claim. But then I tested the Carmel, which claimed 35% and it was also only 25. So right now I'm in like a lounge for like a grey market place. This is really really nice place and i've gone through a lot of stuff already so um 
yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy seeing the legal stores compared to the gray market stores because the gray market stores definitely have like better options, I would say. But the legal stores have like a huge list of like everything. It's like the biggest menus you'd ever see. But quickly, let me show you how much stuff I've got just since I've been here anyways. So this is everything that I've managed to get already. So out of everything here, the Astro Pink has been amazing. I wasn't a big fan of the caramel. Um, the cookies ones, those have been great. Uh, the pink OG, I got that when I got out of immigration at a random 24 hour dispo. Um, and it was actually really good. Uh, but the sour diesel I got from the same place was not very good. Um, and I've got some death coma that I haven't tried yet. So I've got a couple hours left here. And I'm out. So I've had my, how many hours have I had here actually doing stuff? Maybe like six hours in Canada filming. I've managed to get loads of shorts done. I'm on my way to the airport right now. Um, it's just mad because, you know, thinking about it, I'm super lucky that they even let me out of the airport. I'm super lucky that they didn't just send me home and I managed to have a day here. I'm, you know, it's the closest thing I've had to being in America for so many years. Um, so, yeah, it's been a pretty wild trip. Um, either way, I've got to get to the airport and um, get back to the UK.